Okay, I'm recording now. All right, so uh, so the question, uh, I was asked a question on, how, you know, if I've got like uh, problems like uh, 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 mental illness or a diagnosis and, um, and how can I have faith that everything will be okay? And how can I get acceptance as well? Um, a few things on that, you know, sometimes you know, from the um, from the ego level, sometimes the ego craves normality or to, to look like a normal person and wants that as a state of happiness. Uh, what I would say is um, uh, my experience is uh, that God, God has the power uh, to perform miracles if it's God's will and all things are possible. All that's required for acceptance and to have faith and, and, and to have that trust that everything will be okay is, um, and the word acceptance, I mean, acceptance like surrender, like forgiveness, they're, they're all the same thing. It's basically letting go, you know, letting go of everything that you're holding on and having faith that if you let it all go and give it up to God, then uh, God has the power to perform miracles. Uh, there's so many different spiritual ways of doing that but you know if you've got a thing where um you're feeling in despair then you surrender the despair by just sitting with that despair and just experiencing it which is not resisting it and then it, it, it it's gradually um released to god that is the form of surrendering it and that and then you'll start to find you'll go up the levels of consciousness and you'll start to feel acceptance you'll you know that deep despair will start to lift as you just be with it rather than try and use to escape it or distract yourself from it. You know, all these ideas of bargaining with God or giving God, telling God like, you know, if I, if I surrender to you, will you give me a life that looks like this so I can be happy if my life looks like that? Um, and that stuff as well, I would just also uh, surrender to God and trust that God will either give it to you or give you something better. But when you connect and surrender, anything to accept something completely means really when you 100 percent accept something or 100 percent forgive something or 100 percent surrender something um it's no longer occupies your mental space it's like you're clear if i 100 percent accept something it's like i no longer repeat thinking about it it just disappears from if i 100 percent forgive something i no longer it's like i stay in the present moment and my ego that wants to bring that thing back into this moment has disappeared. It's been transcended through a mechanism of acceptance, forgiveness, surrender, or any other spiritual mechanism. Understand the more you accept things, just let things be as they are and try not to change them. The more you forgive anything there's unforgiveness for, which is creating a conflict, the more you just uh, you know, use whatever spiritual mechanism, mechanism you know, you're not fighting the world in any way or fighting whatever conditions are and have faith, a deeper spiritual intention, your vibration will increase and the miracles that get orchestrated from complete surrender or acceptance uh, will come in my experience. I've not, you know, I think the only things that could work is if there's some kind of ego deception going on, which is uh, blocking you, in which case you could pray for those to be revealed or have a spiritual mentor, which will just highlight anything that's blocking you from uh, achieving the grace from, from within. In my experience, um, when I have mental conditions or I have outcomes, I just know that everything is a belief in my mind. So I can, I can cancel or surrender those beliefs. And eventually um, I've had so many miracles occur with my health uh, and uh, with addictions that and and all kinds of things where i just surrendered my belief i have an illness to god i, I just sat with the feelings and surrendered the feelings to god and i trusted my teacher dr david r hawkins and, and like he recovered from 20 i think 23 or 26 illnesses by surrendering feelings and beliefs and thoughts to god or you know all my stuff also uh, same so it's like god has the power so from what I can, you know, what I say and what I've seen in my deck, uh, in many years as a spiritual student in spiritual communities, God has the power, so do have faith. Okay, I'm going to.